Hey folks, this is Ioether, and we are back with some more World of Tanks. This time it's not one of my games, this is Garlis, a uh, viewer, and this is his M26 Pershing on Lakeville, it's an encounter battle. And, well, he's top tier, thankfully. It's tier 8. There's only, what, 3 tier 8s per team? Not bad. That's Oh, the, why is there an M4 in this game? I don't know why is there an M4 in this game. Oh, because he platooned up with a, an M6. That's unfortunate. That's that's not what you call a failed platoon. That's actually <laughs> a matchmaker deciding to kill three guys. Sorry. So thanks to some early lights, Garlis is already getting some shots off on Tiger. By the way, Garlis, if that's not how you pronounce your name, I'm really sorry. <laughs> so you can see we, we have a couple of people heading a couple of T-29s heading through the valley. Got T-71 matched up with a T-20. That's going to go badly unless he gets some backup. Which doesn't look like it's going to happen. And I think we have three AFKs. The Black Prince, the AT-2, who apparently just rage quit after seeing this matchup. And, oh no, sorry, he's typing in chat, so he's probably taking his time to get out his recruiting before he starts moving. I'm, that's not smart, but okay. I think it's a VK-306... 3601, that's the one. That is AFK. Go, go, go. So somehow he got lit through a solid bush. I'm still not certain how that works, but okay. And this particular spot is actually really great for just peeking up and, and taking a shot. Oh, he must be getting lit from behind. Because there's no way that VK can see him through the bush. Very nice shot on the front of VK45. Weak frontal armor on that thing, so you can just put shots through it. Help him through the turret. Hey, that T71 is still alive on the road of death. That's really amazing, actually. Him and the T20 must be bunkered down. Good shot on the T29. Well aimed, well placed. You notice how Carlos is looking around quite a bit? He's always aware of what's behind him, what's beside him. And that was a really well placed shot. It was worth it to take out a Black Prince, take another gun off the enemy team. There we go. That is again great situational awareness, not focusing in on the tank you're shooting at, but instead taking out a one shot. Using the great maneuverability of the Pershing to poke out. Buy an upper shot, fire, and get back out of there before the enemy can return fire. Now this is a fairly dangerous position he's moving into. If that low behind him decides to come up here, he could be in some serious trouble. 
Or if that T29 comes around that corner, then he's gonna be in serious trouble. Thankfully, the VKD seems to be just bouncing off him. And I don't know why this T29 decided to ignore him, but I think he just took his tracks off. By tracking the T29, it means he can deal with the VK all by himself without worrying about the T29 coming in behind him. So I really don't know what that T29 was thinking on the enemy team. He should have been trying to deal with the Pershing behind him and not worrying about anything else. Okay, well... <laughs> that is... yeah. One dead T29. Ooh, sight of a Tiger P. It'd be rude not to take that shot. Oh. That was a really clutch shot. That was a good shot. The fact that he went forward to make sure he had the, the time for it to scope in and reload. Beautiful shot. Sadly, only takes the tracks off that Jag Panther doesn't actually penetrate. Hate those, don't you? That one goes in. And Sab just poking his head back out there so the Jag Panther can return fire, he goes around. He's trying to find that Tiger P again. Because it's a dangerous opponent. And something you don't want to leave by, by itself. KV1S okay, is up there, full health. Good to know. There's the Tiger. Nice th shot through the tread of his front uh, sparkle wheel taking off the tracks pinning the tiger down and just holding them there nope it's not what I want to do this is what I want to do oh yeah look at that most of those went off his Upper glazes. I don't think he took anything anywhere else. Huh. I should have the strength of the upper glazes on the Pershing. Now he's going to go after the KV-1S, who just fired into the dirt. That was a fairly nice shot. Unfortunately, just a ricochet. Now, I don't know if the replay is bugging you, or if he didn't ha actually have an outline at that point and just fire based on uh, the green dot in the center of his aiming circle. Good situation awareness to realize the Jag Panther was sneaking up on him. Nice shot. Good cut shot. Now it's the end of the game. So you can see that it was his mastery badge in the Pershing, which no one's particularly surprised about. It. Steel Wall, which is actually really surprising for a medium tank and not a heavier or a TD or something like that. Top Gun, obviously, seven kills. Yeah. And Sniper. Well, yeah, that makes sense because I think almost every shot went in. Top of his team and experience. Well, yeah, again, not a surprise. What is a surprise is how much he leads the rest of his team. It's like 550 experience above everyone else on this team. That's more experience than 
some of them, and about half the team got in total is how, by how much he's above the rest of his team. Wow. Yeah, he totally didn't carry that game at all. 35 shots fired and 31 penetrations. Did uh, quite a bit. 2,600 damage received. Potential. Wow. He actually only took a few of those indirect hits. Most of those went into his tracks. So that was really good. That was uh, quite a nice uh, chunk of credits earned. And, well, on to the next game. Hey, guys. We're back with the second game. So this is Ronick and his IS-6. As some of you may know, Ronick is a good friend of mine. And this is a tier 8 game on... Swamp? Yes, Swamp. Oh well. Which is... It's almost purely tier 8s. There's actually... Actually, wait. Their team has... Three more tier 8s than the other team does. Uh, of course, they have almost... Well, they have a few heavies versus the other team, which is mainly heavies. So, I guess that does give the other team a little bit of advantage, but three tier 8s will be a problem for the enemy team. Oh well. Huh. Whatever. So, Ronick is first across this bridge, and he has a couple of guys camping behind him, including a T69. Not the place I'd put a T69, but okay. And the T29 is. Okay, he's coming across the bridge. The AMX is probably the only thing that should be over there. Oh, I didn't even know about this little dip. Th that, that tells you how much I've played this map. Huh. I've actually never been down this far. Actually enjoy really enjoy playing this in scout tanks and never really played in anything else. We'll keep it back to this game. So Mostly enemy team seems to be engaging Ronick's team in the north. We haven't encountered any resistance in the south yet. Oh wait. My bad. I spoke too soon. Somebody just shot Ronick. It didn't sound like a high caliber gun, so it may have been the E25. I doubt it was the SU-152. Unless he's got a, a tiny stock gun or something. Oh, that's you looking the wrong way. I guess he regrets that, huh? Ronk is really angling his armor as best he can. And uh, doesn't really mind getting tracked, I'm sure, because it, it's one shot. Ooh. Oh. I want to see where that shot went. That seriously cannot have been the one that bounced off. Oh, it must have bounced off his gun mantle. Wow, that was a lucky lucky bounce from Ronick. At very least, that thing should have done some splash damage to him. E25. <laughs> Poor little guy. It's a great tank, but it's not great in head-on engagements. And unfortunately, its driver doesn't seem to realize that, or... I don't know. This driver seems to be someone who's a, an extremely good player, so I don't know why he's trying to engage head-on with an IS-6 and an E-25. That, that'll never work, buddy. If you look at the spread of the teams, you'll see that there's only four tanks on the south, entire south side of the map for Ronick's team. If the E-25 decided to circle something, he'd probably take out at least the T-69. But okay. Apparently he's deciding to fire frontally. I don't know what that second boom was, but that sounded pretty big. Maybe cable on us. Oh, that 152 finally got a shot through him. Oh.
I don't know what that was. It felt like it. You know what? Mm -hmm. No. I was going to say it may make anyone else from cover, but it's not. I really don't know what that was. It seemed like it was too low of damage to be the 152. T29, maybe? I got the tracks of that C29. Ooh. Well, there's that E25 finally using his speed to his advantage. Oh, how well. Apparently, that didn't matter. Rock's trying to hide his weak points and hide his tank from the guys in front of him. Oh, blind firing it through the Jackson. Wow. Holy crap. He never actually saw the Jackson. It was a guess and a good guess of that. Wow. Gonna try and take up the T29 again. There we go. There's some solid damage on him. Aww. Wow, nice shot on the run with <laughs> that Russian accuracy. Takes out the uh, KV-1S. Isn't too much left on the enemy team now. Okay, I didn't expect that. But I guess the AMX had to get into the fight at some point, right? He was probably in the fight all along and just we didn't see him because he was far enough back and wasn't getting any kills. Or none that I saw anyway. So Ronick's just going to cap because the last remaining enemy is on the other side of the map. And there's no way he's going to get all the way up there before... His team swarms and kills this T fifty type fifty nine. And that is game. So guys, you can see that Ronick managed to earn himself three thousand experience. That's with a doubling. A one thousand credits, you gotta take that with a pinch salt. This is a premium tier A tank. However, the steel wall on the Spartan, that's all him. You can see his second highest experience experience on his team. Two thousand seven hundred and 66 experience for kills not bad hope 8,000 potential damage received yeah he uh he earned that steel wall the hard way wow 34 hits received i did not think it was that high he must have been getting shot in the back a lot and those shots were just bouncing off from ricocheting off the spaced armor that the i6 has quite a bit of cash earned good game okay guys thank you so much for watching thank you for hitting that like button or subscribe button i will see you next time have a good night. I away throughout.